The Hayflick limit is a pivotal concept in the field of cellular biology that has profound implications for our understanding of aging, cancer, and human longevity. Discovered by Leonard Hayflick in the early 1960s, this phenomenon reveals that normal human cells have a finite capacity to divide, which has sparked decades of research into the mechanisms that underlie cellular aging and the broader implications for health and disease. At the core of the Hayflick limit is the observation that a normal human cell can only undergo a certain number of divisions before it enters a state of senescence, a phase in which the cell remains metabolically active but no longer divides. This limitation in cell division is thought to be a critical factor in the aging process, as the gradual accumulation of senescent cells in tissues is associated with age-related decline and the onset of various age-associated diseases. Historical context and discovery The discovery of the Hayflick limit challenged the prevailing belief in the early 20th century that cells could proliferate indefinitely under the right conditions. This earlier belief was based largely on the work of French scientist Alexis Carle, who claimed that cells could divide infinitely if given the proper environment. Carl's work was widely accepted until Leonard Hayflick and his colleague Paul Moorhead conducted experiments in the 1960s that demonstrated a finite replicative capacity for normal human cells. Hayflick and Moorhead's experiments involved culturing human fibroblasts, cells derived from connective tissue, in vitro and observing their growth over time. They found that the cells underwent a predictable number of divisions, around 40 to 60, before entering a state of senescence. This finding was revolutionary because it suggested that cellular aging is an intrinsic property of cells, rather than solely a consequence of external factors. Mechanisms underlying the Hayflick limit The primary mechanism behind the Hayflick limit is thought to be related to the structure and function of telomeres, which are repetitive nucleotide sequences at the ends of chromosomes. Telomeres protect the ends of chromosomes from deterioration and prevent them from fusing with each other. However, due to the end replication problem, a limitation of the DNA replication machinery, telomeres shorten with each round of cell division. As telomeres shorten, they eventually reach a critical length that triggers a DNA damage response, leading to cell cycle arrest and the onset of senescence. This process is thought to be a protective mechanism that prevents cells with critically short telomeres from continuing to divide, as such cells are at a higher risk of accumulating genetic damage that could lead to cancer. The role of telomerase While most somatic, body, cells exhibit telomere shortening and eventually reach the Hayflick limit, certain cell types can maintain their telomere length and continue dividing indefinitely. This is primarily due to the activity of an enzyme called telomerase, which adds telomeric DNA to the ends of chromosomes, effectively counteracting the shortening that occurs during replication. Telomerase is highly active in certain cells, such as germ cells, which give rise to sperm and eggs, stem cells, and cancer cells. In germ cells, Telomerase ensures that telomeres are maintained across generations, allowing for the continuity of the species. In stem cells, telomerase activity allows for the sustained regeneration of tissues. However, in cancer cells, the reactivation of telomerase contributes to their uncontrolled growth and resistance to senescence. The discovery of telomerase and its role in extending the replicative lifespan of cells has spurred significant interest in the potential for manipulating telomerase activity as a means of combating aging and extending human lifespan. However, the dual role of telomerase in both promoting cellular longevity and enabling cancer has made this a complex and challenging area of research. Implications for aging The Hayflick limit is closely linked to the process of aging at the cellular level. As cells reach their replicative limit and enter senescence, they undergo a range of changes in gene expression, morphology, and function. Senescent cells secrete a variety of pro-inflammatory cytokines, growth factors, and proteases, a phenomenon known as the senescence-associated secretory phenotype, SASP. 
While SASP can have beneficial effects in certain contexts, such as wound healing and tumor suppression, it is also associated with chronic inflammation and tissue dysfunction in aging. The accumulation of senescent cells in tissues is thought to contribute to age-related decline by promoting chronic inflammation, disrupting tissue structure and function, and impairing the regenerative capacity of tissues. Studies in animal models have shown that removing senescent cells can delay the onset of age-related diseases and extend healthy lifespan, highlighting the potential of senolytic therapies, drugs that selectively eliminate senescent cells, as a strategy for promoting healthy aging. Cancer and the Hayflick limit The Hayflick limit also has important implications for our understanding of cancer. Cancer is characterized by the uncontrolled proliferation of cells, which often involves bypassing the normal mechanisms that limit cell division. One of the key ways that cancer cells achieve this is through the reactivation of telomerase, which allows them to maintain their telomeres and continue dividing indefinitely. The relationship between telomere shortening, cellular senescence, and cancer is complex. On the one hand, Telomere shortening acts as a tumor suppressor mechanism by limiting the number of times a cell can divide. On the other hand, critically short telomeres can lead to genomic instability, which increases the risk of cancer. Cancer cells that bypass the Hayflick limit by reactivating telomerase or through alternative mechanisms such as the alternative lengthening of telomeres, ALT pathway can proliferate without the normal constraints leading to tumor growth and metastasis. Targeting telomerase and telomere maintenance mechanisms has emerged as a potential strategy for cancer therapy. Telomerase inhibitors are being investigated as a means of limiting the growth of telomerase-positive cancers, while alt-targeted therapies are being explored for cancers that rely on this alternative mechanism for telomere maintenance. Beyond the Hayflick limit, Cellular immortality and aging While the Hayflick limit is a fundamental concept in cellular biology, it is important to recognize that not all cells in the body are subject to this replicative limit. Stem cells, for example, have the ability to divide indefinitely, thanks in part to the activity of telomerase. These cells play a crucial role in tissue homeostasis and repair providing a reservoir of cells that can replace damaged or aging cells. However, the regenerative capacity of stem cells is not infinite, and it declines with age. This decline is thought to be due to a combination of factors, including telomere shortening, DNA damage, and changes in the stem cell niche, the microenvironment that supports stem cell function. As stem cells lose their ability to divide and replenish tissues, the body becomes less capable of repairing damage and maintaining tissue function, contributing to the aging process. In addition to stem cells, certain cell types, such as cancer cells, have acquired the ability to bypass the Hayflick limit and achieve cellular immortality. While this immortality is a hallmark of cancer, it has also led to the exploration of ways to harness the mechanisms that allow for indefinite cell division in the context of regenerative medicine and aging. The Hayflick Limit and Human Longevity The Hayflick Limit has profound implications for human longevity and the pursuit of interventions that could extend healthy lifespan. While it is clear that the finite replicative capacity of cells contributes to aging, it is also evident that simply extending the number of times cells can divide is not a straightforward solution to aging. One of the key challenges in this area is the need to balance the benefits of extending cellular lifespan with the risks associated with bypassing the natural mechanisms that limit cell division. While enhancing telomerase activity could theoretically delay cellular aging, it also carries the risk of promoting cancer by allowing cells to escape the normal constraints on proliferation. Research into the biology of aging is increasingly focused on understanding the complex interplay between cellular senescence, stem cell function, and tissue regeneration. By identifying the factors that contribute to the decline in tissue function with age, 
scientists hope to develop interventions that can promote healthy aging without increasing the risk of cancer or other age-related diseases. The future of Hayflick limit research The study of the Hayflick limit has evolved significantly since its discovery, with ongoing research continuing to uncover new insights into the mechanisms that regulate cellular aging and their implications for health and disease. Some of the key areas of research include telomere biology, understanding the precise mechanisms that regulate telomere length and how these mechanisms are influenced by genetic, environmental, and lifestyle factors. Senescence and aging, investigating the role of cellular senescence in aging and age-related diseases, as well as the potential for senolytic therapies to promote healthy aging. Cancer biology, Exploring the ways in which cancer cells bypass the Hayflick limit and identifying new therapeutic targets for preventing or treating cancer. Regenerative medicine. Developing strategies to enhance the regenerative capacity of tissues by supporting stem cell function and overcoming the limitations imposed by the Hayflick limit. Longevity interventions. Investigating potential interventions that could extend healthy lifespan by modulating the factors that contribute to cellular and tissue aging. Conclusion The Hayflick limit remains a cornerstone of our understanding of cellular aging, with far-reaching implications for biology, medicine, and human health. While much has been learned since Leonard Hayflick first described this phenomenon, Many questions remain about the precise mechanisms that regulate cellular senescence, the role of telomeres in aging and disease, and the potential for interventions that could extend healthy lifespan. As research continues to advance, the study of the Hayflick limit will undoubtedly remain a critical area of inquiry, providing valuable insights into the fundamental processes that govern life, aging, and the pursuit of longevity. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks.